Wahoo Element Bolt long term review. I've had this unit for maybe six months now. I'm just going to give my thoughts and feedback. Right, so we have the unit just ahead of us. So you can see it's pretty pretty simple setup. We've got three buttons here uh, along the bottom. We've got a power on button here, which is falling off. We'll get into that later. And we have a scroll up. Well, it's like a zoom in, zoom out button. Um, so anyway, so it basically has GPS, so this is the map, um, and you can download any map uh, as long as you have Wi-Fi, which is a bit weird. So I'm, I can't actually get the entire map because I'm just using my 4G, uh, but I'm gonna try to sort that out, but it downloads any map in the world. Then you've got your segments here, again, sort of uses, I don't use them, so we'll just mute them. And then you've got my main page here, which has just got, got the usual, and these buttons on the left hand, the right hand side, sorry, they allow you to zoom into the data. So you can see here, like, if you just want three things, the top three will show up, and then you can zoom out. To be honest, I've actually never used this function. I find it completely useless, um, but maybe, maybe you might, I don't really know. And then you've got just the next page, just scroll through. It's got normalized power, it's got average power, all that sort of things. I think it doesn't have sunset though, which is a bit annoying, so I think someone said that to me. And then this is sort of the useless page, like degrees, TSS, calories, max five, max 20 minute power. Quite like having the my max five minute power, max 20 minute power, do quite enjoy that. Um, apart from that, that's pretty much all the menu buttons. Uh, we'll get onto the app in a little bit, but you can see here the buttons are, uh, I'll just try and focus that. The buttons are very interesting because as you can see here, they're really, really starting to peel off. And I haven't had it that long. Um, so I really need to get these glued back on, which is, is just quite disappointing really. Um, you can see here that they're starting to peel off. Sorry, it's not focusing. Um, on both sides now as well, which is just really like, not great. Um, I'm not sure if it's the heat here, but it's they've literally both come off in the last maybe week or so. Um, and so how does it mount? It's just got basically a Garmin mount, but slightly different, so your Garmin mount won't work. Uh, it's got the little arrow gain here. Um, is it useful? I don't really know. I don't really rate, I don't think so. Uh, maybe save a couple couple grams, uh, maybe, sorry, save a couple of watts from the arrow gains, then there's just the micro USB, um, which allows it to connect with your laptop. Um, so with the Wahoo Bolt, most of it, you basically just use the app, um, so it allows you to sync things from like Strava and whatever, uh, real easy, uh, and I quite rate that. And this also is Wi-Fi, so it uploads super quick if you want it to, uh, just connect to the Wi-Fi. I normally have it on Wi-Fi if I'm just at home or whatever, which I do rate. Uh, fast upload times uh, and you just connect to training peak Strava all the rest of it which is very good uh, other things to say about the element it just works like there's these little light things at the top which is like they got a lot of sort of irrelevant things but they cut down a lot like Garmin has so many stupid things like vo2 max estimate and all the rest of it this is a lot more simplified um, and I do really rate it to be honest uh, GPS can be completely useless um, I'll show you some files like, oh my god, that some of them are just really bad. Like, you'll just be riding along and it just thinks you're in a bush or something. And I've had a couple times where it's messed up the segments because um, it just thinks I'm like completely off the road. So I'd say GPS, probably not as good as Garmin, like just in literally in terms of the pure GPS, which is a bit bit of a shame. Uh, otherwise, it would definitely would rate it even higher. Uh, mapping just works. Uh, you also, it's quite good on your phone. You can basically like pick a point and sync it to, your, uh, to the Wahoo very quickly. Uh, which is a big, big bonus because Garmin's just annoying like that. Anything else to add? Does the calibration with the power meter. It just does everything it needs to do. Uh, connects all my stages perfectly, not like the Brighton. Um, and it's not, I mean, it's not cheap, but it's not mega expensive really for what it, what, um, for what it is compared to other competitors. Uh, and the rest of the things, it's just pretty good unit. just works. Uh, I, I enjoy it. Um, so yeah. There you go. Cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy this little review. If you have any questions about it or want me to do any more reviews, I might, I could do one on the Brighton soon, but I haven't really used that for quite a long time because I've just been using this because it just actually works. Um, obviously, there's no touch screen as well. But anyway, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid.